Well, it may not feel like it this morning, but I promise spring is here. <laughs> Just a little rainy, a little chillier here. But it does mean the Northwest fruit orchards are soon filling with those pears, apples, peaches, and plums. Ah, oh, there you go. Can, can, you, can you picture it now? The I can sunshine feel it. will come back. <laughs> The fruit will be here. Frolicking through a spring meadow. There you go. Well, this weekend, you can celebrate with some fruit in a glass at the 2024 Hood River Hard Pressed Cider Fest. It is back, and Core Harlan is live on the banks of the Columbia River this morning with a preview. Hey, Core. I like that music. You got to play that music under my shots all the time. It's very comforting music there. We're frolicking through the orchards wherever they may be. We're in Hood River this morning at the uh, event site right down here. The Columbia River is uh, behind us here. The geese have calmed down a little bit as a result of us being up here popping cider cans. And we're getting ready for this Saturday's uh, uh, ninth annual Hard Pressed Cider Festival. Lee Perry is the organizer of this event. Uh, we'll talk to him in a second. But I want to talk to Bob and Heather Fox here. They have these products right here from Fox Tail Distillery and Cidery. Good morning to both of you. Good Bye. morning. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. Oh, it's good to be on. It's good to be on anywhere, actually. But uh, you guys, uh, you say you're, uh, you know, to me, the beauty of this event is you, you have a lot of participation from cideries and distilleries such as yourselves, which primarily are local things. You don't have nationwide distribution, nor do you seek it necessarily, right? No, it's smaller and crafter. Uh, we have the regional areas with the cideries that come in, and it's a good way to display their craft and ours. Yeah. And Foxtail is just up Highway 35, right off the road, right? Yep. We're the first cidery in the valley here, and uh, we're just about five minutes from downtown Hood River. So come out and see us whenever you can. What's in your orchard? We grow pears, apples, and cherries mostly with some peaches. Uh -huh. And, and a few berries, but yeah. And you'll be pouring what this weekend in terms of cider? This weekend we'll be pouring one of our Razanades and our Mary's Berry, which is a Marian apple. You know, the more I talk to cider people, the more they tell me that berries mixed in with cider is a hot ticket. Berries seem to be really well. They mix really well with apples. It's one of those situations where apple has to pair with something. Yeah. And berries do really well with that. All right, here's the bronze of the operation. Here are the brains over here to my right, Heather. What do you have to say? <laughs> oh, the distillery, maybe, because you're going to be, are you, you going to be serving, you have brandy and vodka here as well. Are you going to be serving any of that this weekend? We'll be serving it up on top. Up on top. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'll be up at the tasting room serving all of that. <laughs> all right, so if you, get a, if you get worn out on cider, you can always go up there and taste some of that. That is homemade uh, homemade orchard vodka right out there. And Lee, this is going to be, uh, the weather we're talking about, it's raining in Portland, I guess, this morning. Yeah. yeah Weather's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be good enough. Yeah, right? yeah, a little cloud cover not on bad. Saturday. That'll be fine, yeah. We're really looking forward to it. <clears throat> 30 cideries, like maybe 100 different varieties of cider yep. here, right? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we have 32 cideries, I think, right now. Um, they'll bring, you know, anywhere from two to four cideries, depending on, or ciders, depending yeah. on who it is. Yeah. Plenty of food. And this, I also wanted to touch on this, too. We forgot about this a little bit early, but yeah. you're encouraging people to bring their own glasses this year. To yeah. Avoid plastic use. Yeah. yeah, yeah. New this year is uh, we've required that you buy our glass in the past. Now you can bring your own mug, glass, whatever you want, whatever container you want, and we'll pour into that. Or you can buy, buy an event glass here as well. It happens Saturday right down here at the event site on the waterfront in Hood River. Come thirsty and and come hungry because there's plenty to drink here from uh, not only uh, the uh, the Fox folks here, the Foxtail Distillery and uh, Cidery, but lots of others. Just uh, Lee mentioned 32 other cideries here. So come hungry and come thirsty because there'll be plenty here to wet your whistle with and eat here. And a beautiful setting out here in front of the in the Columbia River. Uh, beautiful, just a beautiful setting, a nice place to be for Saturday. Okay, thanks, Cor. It sounds like it's going to be a really fun time. I mean, that's your view, right? Yeah, I was going to say. You get them, to look at the Columbia River. Them having it out on the water. I know they, they moved it to the waterfront. The Cor, thank you. Uh, yeah. They moved it to the waterfront last year and going back there. It's a really, really nice place for it. It mm -hmm. is. I love all the farms up there, just all the growing that I happens know. in that region. Yeah. It's so fun. beautiful. 